This is the first tutorial for the physics test tomorrow. Uh, the problem is Mr. Berry went on to a 1.5 hour long car trip and his position function is Forty over three t square. Find his final velocity. Right, t one is equal to zero, and d one is equal to zero. We're going to call it point one. We're going to call t two is point five, and d two is point three point three, and we're going to call point two. Point three, we're going to call t th uh, t three is equal to one and D3 is equal to 13.3, point 0.4 we're going to call T4 is equal to 1.45601 and then finally we're going to have point 0.7, T7 is 1.5 and D7 is of course 30. Okay, so I found those values using these position function of course. Velocity final that means what would be the velocity right here, right here, velocity final, not the average velocity, velocity final, instantaneous velocity, velocity at right here, okay. So if there is a speed limit sign over here and the speed limit is 38 mile per hour, will uh, did Mr. Berry break the law? That's what we are going to try to find out, what would be the velocity at P7, okay. P7 to P1, uh, P7 to P2, P7 to P3, P7 to P4, P7 to P5, P7 to P6, and P7 to P7. P7 to P7 is, 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 is it does not exist, it is undefined because P7 to P7 is going to be 0 over 0 because 30 minus 30 over 1.5 minus 1.5 algebra breaks down at right here. So, this is no good. Delta T, okay. So, the delta T between these two. Is the time go to 0? Well, let us see 1.5, not really. Is the time between these two points goes to 0? Well, maybe let us see 1. Is the time between these two goes to 0? Well, 0.5. Well, okay, all right, this seems like the time is getting zero between these two points. Okay, let us see whether we can make more progress. Point zero 0.05 is this time between these two is getting zero. Let us see, uh, point zero 0.02, point zero 0.01. It seems like the time is getting zero. The time is getting zero between these two number. okay, uh, the, between these two points. Okay, good. Um, now, uh, now let us see the distance all right, the, or displacement for that matter. The displacement would be between these two points would be of course 3399. Of course, now we are going to find the velocity divided by 1.5 would be 20. So, that would be the average velocity you are going to call average velocity and that would be the average velocity okay that would be the velocity entire trip all right if we draw it this would be the velocity this would be the velocity okay this would be the velocity all right so 0 comma 0 1.5 comma 30 and that will be this and so the velocity uh, velocity of this velocity of this one is 20 mile per hour so this is the average velocity okay get it all right so this one would be 26.7 all right so as we said that as this approach to 0, this approach to 40. Let us see whether that is true. 16.7, 16.7 7 divided by 0.5 is 33.4. Um, 1.5 divided by 0.5 is approaching to 0. I already see that. 1.97 divided by 0.05, 39.4. Okay, is approaching to 0. Um, 
0.795 divided by 0 0.02, 39.75. All right, and then finally 0.399 divided by 0 0.01. 39.9 as you see that as the delta t approaches to 0 delta t approaches to 0 from 1.5 hour to 1 hour 2.5 hour 2.05 hour 2.02 hour 2.01 hour which is almost 0 then the velocity approaches to 40 how 20 to 26.7 to 33.4 to 39.4 to 39.75 to 39.9 of course now we will the uh, the, the physics uh, also tells us the same thing okay let's see first we're going to use the distance formula so the distance is v i t plus half a t squared so 30 is equal to this is 0 because you start at 0 all right so the t is 0 so that's why this is 0 half a one, um, 3 over 2 square so you have 30 is equal to half a 9 over 4 okay so you have 60 is equal to 9 over 4 a so 4 over 9 4 over 9 so a is equal to 240 over 9 okay 240 over 9 so this is our acceleration now let's find the final velocity final velocity is vi plus at and vi is of course zero velocity initial is zero okay so vf is a is 240 divided by 9 times uh, t is uh, 3 over 2 okay 3 goes to 9 3 times 3 goes to 2 goes to 80 40 so vf is 40 okay mile per hour so of course the physics also tells us that at right here the velocity is 40 we call it instantaneous velocity now right here so this is the algebraic technique of finding the velocity what is the velocity formula velocity formula is d final minus d initial is t final minus t initial okay so the d final minus d initial would be what at right here um, d final minus d initial would be okay so we, we got that over here uh, 0.399 and that divided by 0 0.01 and that gave us 39.99 39.99 we cannot put 30 minus 30 divided by 1.5 minus 1.5 however however we can use the calculus calculus you have the position function p of t is equal to 40 over 3 t squared now this is called the derivative and how do you uh, take the derivative derivative is very easy uh, you have x n is x n minus 1 okay and you put n over here and that's it that's how you take the derivative so what is our n this is our n so p of t we're going to call it p prime of t which is the velocity is equal to we put the 2 over here 40 over 3 t 2 minus 1 so now we instead of p prime of t we're going to call it vt because if you take the first derivative you get it velocity so 80 over 3 t because 2 minus 1 is 1 so velocity at at 1.5 is 80 over 3 1.5 which is at 1.5 velocity is a 40 mile per hour you do not need to do this way and i i should tell you you must not do it this way this is not allowed in this elementary level i gave you three way of doing this one is this way and other one is of course this way